it. Here's what you don't want to do, or here's what you do want to do. Yeah, well, depending on your coach, what you don't want to do is grab on the outside, because you cannot materially, materially restrict or alter the path of the defender. But if you keep your hands inside, it's hard to know, because now it's easier to step and walk, and you can control. So anytime the hands are outside, that's holding. Inside, you're pretty good. Now. When you jerk or twist, that's where you really get the holding call. That's what happened a couple of times against the Broncos. And it typically happens with players who are stronger in college and don't, don't stay within their technique in the game. And they start trying to, oh, I'm upset with you, so I'm just going to throw you that way instead of taking the time to get inside and start, what they say, walking the dog. So wait, when you grab on the inside, that's, are you saying that's, that's proper technique or you can get away with stuff? It's proper technique, and you can get away with manipulating a player. But when you get outside, that's what referees are looking for. They'll look for it on the outside. And what's even worse, people don't understand, most of the time referees will warn you. Hey, could have called you for holding right there. Get him inside. And that's what they'll say to you. At the same time, you've got players like Khalil Mack. They're going to practice getting a holding call. If you're trying to get to the quarterback, and you know you're not going to get there, but my hands are kind of outside, you're going to turn and flail and put your hands up, and you'll see a couple of them. Khalil Mack's got his hands up like, hey, hey, hey. The referee's only five yards away. He can hear him yelling at him. Right. So then he's saying, oh, I guess he is holding. Throw the flag. So when I see grabbing underneath the shoulder pads, like that's obvious. Outside, obvious. Inside, left to interpretation. Okay. Uh, you say Mack will do it during the game. Uh, defensive players will probably warn the refs, but are refs being told by the coaches or anything ahead of time? Hey, 72. You know 72 is what he's doing. Absolutely, and that's great on your part. It happens all the time. When we played the Patriots, every time we played the Patriots, referee would come up to me and say, hey, Coach Belichick wants you to move up. He says he's watched it. We're going to be looking for it today. Final two years of my career, ref came up and said, hey, I'm like, you tell Belichick I'm not off the line of scrimmage, and he's using you as a pawn. <laughs> you know, so you got to use your referees to your advantage. That's one of the things. I, got, I went through a whole year, 19 games, without getting a holding call. So I would ask the refs, hey, ref, I'm thinking about getting into refereeing when I'm done. What do you think? They're thinking, oh, he's into the rules. He's not going to break the rules. Not one holding call. Not because you weren't doing it, though. Well, I mean, if I, if I wasn't called for, I wasn't doing it. Were you speeding? No. All right, let's talk about now. Now, we're talking about holding, and we're talking about holding. Uh, what is it we were talking in this in that night news? Something that's happening in that door. We're doing our own version of holding somewhere in that door. Oh, holding happens every day in a place like Nine News, in a place like wherever anybody works. Whether it's not filling up the water in the Keurig when you're done, not refilling the Brita, or taking food of a coworker. I want you to be honest right now. Have you ever taken a coworker's uh, food? Uh, not since I've been in this building. Since you've been in this building, but a priori, before getting into this building. Yeah, yeah, I've probably done that. <laughs> but I don't, like... That's a bad example with me because people don't want to be eating this food I want and I'm probably not wanting the food that they want. But we leave food out in the newsroom a lot. Yeah. One of the, you probably throw a penalty on like, do you even know where that food came from? Right. How long it's been? How long it's been? Yeah, yogurt, you got to check the date. Yeah. But see, these are all rules we know from taking food. That's a holding call. So is it fair that football players, athletes, things that are on TV get more attention on things? You know, we, we do little things at work. Never, no one's ever going to see that. Yeah. No one's at the bank yelling at the teller <laughs> because they may be counted wrong. But is it fair that an athlete gets more scrutiny? Fair, yes. Is it equal in our practices with each other? Absolutely not. But that's part of the deal. You sign up in the NFL, you sign the rules, you get the paycheck, you put the decal on, you play in th front of the 80,000 fans that Mile High has. You have to play within the rules. We all have rules at the workplace. And just because you can see them in the NFL doesn't mean they're different in the level that you have to abide by. So, all right. One example, since we're showing this, if I'm at the line, yeah. why would I not automatically come like this? Well, that, that's ideal. But the problem is, and you'll watch it, now you go like that with your hands, mm -hmm. boom, I'm pushing you down, now you're in trouble. Now what are you going to do? And I, yeah, see right there, your hand goes right to the shoulder pad. Okay. So that's what you'll watch at Khalil Mack. Von Miller's excellent at hitting the hands. Or go ahead and put your hands again. Boom. Oh, now I'm lifting. Now I'm going. Where are your hands? Now, what are you, you holding? Well, see, but yeah, that's a great question. See, defensive players, they always should get called. But <laughs> see right there, you see the propensity. Like, if you're, oh, crap, yeah. Peyton Manning's going to get killed. Or, you know, Joe Flacco's career is over. You're going to hold right there. Okay. And then now, and then I'm going, oh, referee, referee. So oftentimes, just because of the fact that your hands are going inside, any type of deflection, it's easy to get to those shoulders. There was one thing I heard in the broadcast yesterday that you take him to the ground. Yeah. You can't do that? Yeah, that's part of the rule, too, written there uh, in, in Rule 12. You cannot tackle a person. And tackling, you have to grab and throw. And that's what they're really looking for, referees. They're looking, did you alter the path 
of the defender? Were you going this way and all of a sudden there was a jerk of the shoulders? And referees are very good at understanding the natural body movements of a defensive end, of an offensive lineman. They'll call defensive holding too, where a defensive lineman will oftentimes jerk a guy down. Sure. If there's a sudden movement like that, right? I mean, most movement is efficient in the NFL, targeted, tactical. If there's random quick movement, good chances there's a penalty happening. Is there holding on every play in football? Every play. Mostly by the defense. <laughs> but that's an offensive Says the player. Offensive player. <laughs> Not sure who. So I'll be, I'll be the left tackle, let's say. And if you're going to go onto this side of me, go onto that edge, mm -hmm. I want to get in front of you and put my hands up. But if my hand, if you get anywhere, if you're faster than me, my hand gets across, they're looking for that. They're looking so that for my hand. Cause that, and, then if you, and then if you see the ball's getting thrown and you're that guy, you're going to throw your hands up right away, right? So as soon as I put my hand there, you're, and you're saying, ref, ref, right. yeah. And then I got to, you know, you'll see people try and bring the hands down. But that happens when you get out of position. Usually holding calls offensively are when you're out of position or the player you're going against is a little faster. Now, if, if you, now one of the things to get great at it is, okay, I miss you, you're moving out, start to flail, oh, I pull my hand down and I pull it back. Yeah. But that's, that's the technique that you gotta practice and you gotta learn. And part of it's admitting that you're holding. Now, I didn't get called for holding, but there were times where I had to replace my hands to save from a penalty. And that's a commitment that you have to make to your technique and really say, okay, I'm out of position here. And this is happening in the split of a second, right? This isn't like, oh, you're out of my way. Okay, right? right. But this is where I have to make a decision. I'm going to get a holding call or I'm going to replace and either hit the hip and move you out with this hand, but you've got to make a decision. But the problem is a lot of players won't admit that they're holding. And that's why they'll keep their hand there. You'll start to see them trying to like, leverage someone back. So you could drop in the middle of the play and not get the holding call. Yes. But you're doing it until it's like, oh, it's going to be too obvious. Yeah. And you got to know, you know, you have to have experience of, especially if I'm getting called for holdings a lot, they're looking for that. Okay, as soon as I'm out of position, I got to pull my hand back. Or I've got to hold, save a sack. And there is a saying as for offensive linemen, holds better than a sack, right? But you start giving up a lot in the game, it's going to be tough. Yeah, that's where I, I have problems when there's holding and it's like a one-yard run. Yeah. There's holding, and it's, I guess you can't really complain about an incompletion. But if you're getting called for a penalty, and it really didn't matter. Yeah. But if it's like a 40-yard game, it's like, well, okay, of course you held because you were trying to protect something that, I don't know. Well, you touched on a point that really frustrates coaches a lot, holding in the run game. And that's some of what we saw in the last game. Because what happens is, okay, I got a run block. Now either I'm being lazy because I've moved you, or I'm causing a problem where there really isn't one. The ball's going that way, but I twist you this way. They get a holding call. The, the gain's negated. So running plays especially, you're already being aggressive. So stick with it. Believe in your technique. When you get holding penalties in the run game, that really frustrates coaches.